In Siemens NX, you can create internal and external threads in your part. On the Home tab, you can go to the More drop-down list in the Base group, and underneath Detail Feature, here's the thread command. I'll click on it, and it opens up the dialog box. Be aware there's a reset button if you want to go back to the default values. Up at the top, there is a drop-down list where you can choose symbolic or detailed. With symbolic, it's going to use dash circles to represent where the threads are in the part. If you actually want to create 3D cuts, well, you will use the detailed option. I will click the cylindrical surface that I want to use to apply the threads to. Here you can see a dialog box where you can enter in the thread length. Down at the bottom of the dialog box, we have the limit group where you can change from a numerical value to full, or you could choose short of full if you want, and leave a little bit of a gap down at the bottom. There's a button that you can use to reverse the direction. For specifying the size of the thread, you could use the drop down list to change from a thread table to manual. And then for the thread standard, we have a variety of different metric and inch tables, as well as some other different tables down at the bottom. I'll leave metric course. And it's automatically matching the thread size to the cylinder. In this particular situation, it is using an M24 by three size thread. So this looks good. Let's click on the OK button in order to complete it. Now let me go to the View tab. I'm going to turn on the display of a section so that you can see that we have a hole in the part model. Be aware that when you're creating a hole in a part, you also have the option of creating a threaded hole. But in this particular situation, let me go back to the Home tab and then the More dropdown and Thread. And this time I'll pick this particular cylindrical surface. And it gives us a warning about the thread size does not match an existing diameter in the table. We're also getting a warning about the tool body completely outside the target body. In this particular situation, we have a choice of a couple different threads to use. I'm going to use the larger thread size, and you can see a preview that is being created. Let me change this to a value. And I'll type in a numerical value of 30 for the depth of it. And everything else in here looks good. Let's click the OK button. And so in that way, you can use the thread command in order to create your internal and external threads.